I can't go on here. I feel like I should have prepared a little more for this. Never mind, everything's fine. Hey guys, happy release day for Nicolette Hayford. Her Pillbox Patty EP came out today and it looks like um, they're having a little trouble getting it on iTunes, but I think they're working on that. I mean, today is 420. This could have happened to anyone. Um, but it is on SoundCloud, it is on Spotify, and I've been listening to it nonstop since she sent me the rough um, mixes. So, Pillbox Patty by Nicolette Hayford. You hear her name a lot with mine. We write a lot of songs together. Um, I had some requests, and two of them were for uh, songs from the Elspound record. And if you're wondering what's the Elspound record, that's okay, because it mysteriously has disappeared from the internet, and we don't really know why. Um, and, and who knows where the box of, uh, there's like a box of like 250 hard copies somewhere. Who knows, who knows where that is. But um, so yeah, I was thinking um, that I would do some of those today. And so all the songs that I'm gonna do, or maybe not all of them, but several of the songs I'm gonna do today, if you're from Memphis, you're gonna remember all these songs. These are songs from my mid twenties that I wrote alone with no co-writer. So let's start with, um, done this one before on All Cooped Up. Um, it's about my home state, the beautiful state of Arkansas, where wildflowers are a protected species. And I was too broke to drive back to Arkansas. I was living with a friend, sleeping on an air mattress in, I think it was a duplex or a townhouse, uh, over in, you know, in not a bad part of town, but not a great part of town. You might want to just, you know, leave your windows down and your doors unlocked so that windows don't get broken and I said man can we drive to Arkansas this weekend and she said we don't have enough money we don't have enough gas money to drive there and drive back because you know writing songs pays exactly peanuts uh, at first which is great because you wind up working for the circus anyway
lights on Broadway, they've called me out. I came out here to make you proud. I know you'll catch me if I fall. I miss you, Arkansas. Miss you, Arkansas. Mm. You know my eyesight. I can't really see the comments, but I do see hearts, and that makes me happy. Today's drink of choice is water from the refrigerator with ice from the refrigerator and a little bit of Fruit Punch Mio. Mm. If you hear birds and lawnmowers and trains, I have the doors open and the windows open because as I've said before, I like to hear birds and lawnmowers and trains. Um, this one was a challenge to remember. This one, I think I was already living in Nashville when I wrote it. Most of these I was living in Arkansas, um, some, some of them. I was either in Arkansas or in, um, in Memphis when I wrote it, but... Remembering the words to this is going to be a challenge, but um, I did look it up. I managed to find a copy of it this morning in an old email. I wrote this song standing in the basement. I lived in this, um, this is going to sound fancy, and I guess it was at the time. I was living in this loft apartment in downtown Nashville, and I was down in the basement because in the basement was where the trash compactor was. And, I, and it was kind of, I don't know, it was just kind of dark and damp and lonely down there, and I kind of like to write songs down there. And I did, I wrote this song down there, and then one day, the homeless man, that I did not realize it was sleeping under a mattress in that basement, I didn't realize he was there, and he woke up one day and scared me to death. So I stopped writing down there. Also, I didn't want to invade his privacy. Um, I've been asked a lot of times in the past who this song is about, and it's none of your business. This one's Break It Fast.
an example of a song that got written four or five times before I ever really played it out for anybody. So if you're a young writer or um, someone who's just getting into songwriting, uh, it's okay for a song to not feel done to you. Sometimes even those that do feel done, you go back later and realize that you did something wrong. For instance, if I wrote that song now, that last verse, Lost and lo Lonely, You Leave Me Somewhere in the Night, if you ever loved me, love me enough to twist the knife, that's fine. The rest of that, you can tell I was trying to be a songwriter, it's kind of fluffy, so. Um, but it is what it is. If you're just joining us, we are uh, lucky enough to have Chris Country, all of our friends in the UK. Thank you for tuning in at the eight o'clock hour there, so it's nearly bedtime. And if you're just tuning in, we're doing some stuff that I wrote by myself. And that's very interesting. Um, <laughs> Uh, so this is a sad song, and if uh, I'm not going to play a bunch of sad songs because this is not the time for that. But this one is, it's, it's kind of sad. Um, let me get this tuned up here. Now when I wrote it, I tuned my E string up to F. I'm not sure why I did that. I had been down at a... I've been down at this venue called Norms River Roadhouse, which uh, went underwater in 2010 when we had the big flood here. And I was there to see Shelley Tackett, Annie Mosher, and Lisa Carver. And of course their show was fantastic. And I went up to Carver after the show and said, great show tonight, girls. And she said, hey, go home and write a song tonight. So I did, and I wrote this one. Um, there are some things that hurt when you look back on them from any relationship, from any any loss at all. This one is kind of sad, but I was trying to be positive about it. I'll let you decide. I don't see you on the movie 
screen Or hear him in my radio I know it took a little longer than Either of us planned And that's just how this goes I had to finish up with hating you And now that I'm through What do you know? There's a few mornings when I know That the bitter winter cold has got you Wishing your old bones weren't so used An old song will take me back Honey, I can't help but laugh at how we danced To born to run in the living room I've spent a lot of time Erasing your life from mine after all, you were the only thing I knew So it don't mean Some things don't remind me of you It don't mean But some things don't remind me of you I hope you're not crying. I think, I think that's a happy song. I saw somebody say something. Ah, uh, thanks guys. Sorry, I'm like looking right into the thing. Also, you can, I don't know if you can tell in this lighting how gray my hair is. It's getting gray. It's really, it's really been a wonderful journey. Oh, once again, I'm sweating. As soon as I start playing the guitar, I start sweating, which has been virtually my only cardio during quarantine. Virtually. <laughs> Virtual. I did not mean to make a stupid pun just then. I, that, do not hold that against me. Do not take my joke card away from me. One more from the Elstone record, and uh, and then I think I'll do something something a little more current. Um, I don't remember where I was. I think I was living in this part of town of Nashville called Antioch. Um, again, not a bad part of town. It's totally a bad part of town. I lived in a shoot and stab apartment uh, complex. I was never stabbed or shot, uh, but it was a really dangerous area. But again, you're broke, so what are you going to do, right? Yeah, B works. If you've ever wondered why I can't post so many things in B flat and B, it's not because I love playing in B flat and B. I've really just kind of done it my whole life because I was so short, I had a hard time reaching all the way down the neck. And now I'm full length and uh, I still play. Oh man, I think I used to play harmonica on this. Uh, that's alright. I'll find the harmonica and we'll do it next live stream. So in this song, I was thinking about um, the things that you have to become friends with when you're just playing in bars. You're, you're in town, you're writing songs, you're trying to make money, and you're playing in bars all the time. And people say, oh, you must be so lonely. And you're like, you know what? I have a lot of good friends. And some of that is loneliness, and some of that is being broke, and some of that is, is a life behind bars, you know? Life behind bars.
I'm the one that you get close to Even though you ain't supposed to Ain't no way in hell I can walk the line I'm the blessed whiskey Oh, you know you're gonna miss me Cause this moving on is a good old friend of mine It's a good old friend of mine It's a good to run out of time together friends I do want to thank Chris Country for hopping on with us here and uh, everybody who stayed up or took a break from work uh, to tune in let's see what song am I going to do uh, um, I remember seeing this I think it was on Twitter today mm, that's the wrong key I just remembered a joke I heard last night. I was watching some comedians on YouTube, and he said, every, every book is a children's book if a kid can read. That really made me laugh. Chris Harris and I usually say, you know, is something walking distance when you're on tour? Is it walking distance? Anywhere's walking distance if you want to walk far enough. So this song is going to go out to um, our essential workers. Everybody keeping things spinning out there. I saw a tweet from a nurse who said, would you please play a little dive bar in Dahlonega? because every shift we're just trying to make the best of the worst day. So we'll do that. Me, Nicolette Hayford, and Jesse Rice, 
And he was telling us this story about his car breaking down, and he goes into that bar, and while he's there, Sean Mullins is playing. So, um, so he stayed, and since he stayed to listen to Sean Mullins, he met the love of his life, and uh, and they're still together. They're a beautiful married couple. So I think I'll leave you with this. Maybe not the whole song. Maybe we'll just do this. Touch your hands. It never hits stop. Then I then I just talk for a while at the end of it.